What's poppin' Diglett Dreamers? You got Mathras back. Uh, more usage stats. I actually completely forgot that. Or well, I didn't forget. I forgot that there were usage stats. Now I, I, I was wondering earlier if there was gonna be like a mid-December tier shift like they've been doing since Crown Tundra. Uh, and of course, it turns out there is, and it only happened about 42 minutes ago. Uh, so I haven't looked at this at all. I just saw that this was posted and said, "Oh shit, let me let me get the recording up." Um, so yeah, I'm here. I'm now also trying a new thing with the microphone. So let me know if this audio sounds a lot better or not. Uh, anyway, let's take a look. Okay, Halucha moved from UUBL to OU. Okay, Volcarona moved up to OU as well. Let me look at. <laughs> let me get this. Let me. Okay, yeah, here we go. Oh my god, it did happen, okay. Okay, so Conk Elder moved up from the RU ban list to UU. Grimmsnarl and Slowking moved up to UU. Oh my god, that's actually so good, because Slowking was one of the biggest menaces in the RU tier, so that's actually very exciting. Obstagoon move up from NUBL to RU, that's pretty cool. Cool to see um, Obstagoon actually getting usage. Can you guys actually see that when that comes up? Okay, no. Like, when I hover over this with my mouse, it has, like, a little thing that says tier changes, Gen 8, December 1, PNG. But, uh, thankfully, you guys can't see that, because I thought it would be kind of annoying, but you guys can't see it. And now I'm just talking about it for, like, five minutes. Okay, so, Rhyperior and Umbreon moved up from NU to RU. That makes sense. Those are good Pokemon. And now, let's look at the drops, because I'm sure there's going to be some crazy stuff down below, but it is only an NU to PU, so... You know, that tier is already pretty weird. Anyway. Reggie Lucky drops from OU to UU. Joining Blaziken down there. Wow. I didn't think it would happen that quick. I thought this Pokemon was a little bit better than that. <laughs> well, it's better than Speed Boost Blaziken. Then. No. It probably... Well, no, because, like, the, the thing I think about is, like, Reggie Lucky's, like, the new thing that's very exciting and everybody wants to use it and that's why it would stay higher but Blaziken probably has a little bit more of that because it's not only is it new but it's also been banned for so long and now it's finally here everyone should be super excited to use it right um but anyway Reggie Lucky dropped pretty crazy UU to RU oh wow Cobalion Marowak Alolan Stack Attacka and Volcania these ones aren't that crazy like uh it's actually been a long time, but Cobalion was RU back in the day, like when uh, when Amoongus and Hangrowth were like RU staples, so was Cobalion. And around the same time, I think it was when Amoongus and Hangrowth moved up to to OU. It was around the same time Cobalion moved up to UU. I remember looking at the the viability, like Cobalion was literally like the top RU Pokemon in viability. It was like S plus. And then it moved up to UU, and it was like, oh my god, this is so tragic. Um, I think that was like, was that Sun and Moon? Was that like mid Sun and Moon? Like right, maybe right before or right after Ultra Sun and Moon, maybe? Um, yeah, Marowak down here, I feel like that's probably where it's going to stay, especially with how much, you know, power creep has been happening lately. Uh, Stack Attacka. Could, I can see that getting banned. I'm pretty sure it got banned from RU in previous generation. In <laughs> in previous generation. In Sun and Moon, I'm pretty sure it got banned from RU. So I could see it happening again considering it got... Uh, well, it got body press, but it also lost Z Stone Edge, which was part of... Which is a pretty big part of its set back in the day. So maybe it'll stay. But it is an extremely powerful Pokemon, so I don't know. Volcanion is probably the most surprising one here to me because I don't think that thing has ever dropped. Maybe it has, but I feel like that thing's extremely powerful and I don't know, maybe it has a place in RU. Slowking did just go up though, so that's kind of that's kind of tough. That probably would have been a really nice check to this thing. Uh, so it's probably going to have a lot of fun. Are you to NU Tornadus? That's crazy to me. Like this thing... I mean, prior to the, the crazy RU drops, this thing was totally, like, top-tier RU. Uh, but it's just been outclassed, because I think even, like, Thunderous is down in RU now. Am I wrong? No, I think it is. 
Ditto moves from RU to PU. Polito moves from RU to ZU. Okay. I think... Did Drizzle get banned? I don't know if Drizzle got banned. I mean, it must have, because why wouldn't you use Polito? Although Rain really isn't that great. You know what? I think I got... Yeah, I got this open. I'm pretty sure Rain wasn't banned. And I always think that 50 is the number of posts you can have on one page. Yeah, okay. They didn't even think about banning any weather setting, right? So maybe rain is just that bad <laughs> in the RU tier. Where am I? Here we go. So that's interesting. Uh, okay, NU to PU. PUBL. And I'm, I wonder if they actually unbanned all of these for the for the crazy shift absol is pretty crazy arctavish galvantula golurk hitmontop magneton mesprit and scyther this is crazy these are all pretty cool pokemon i mean i was gonna say powerful but they're not all powerful like galvantula is not the strongest thing in the world but it's fast it's got sticky web mesprit's not strong either well actually it is kind of strong but like compared to like the du dual wing beat scyther like that thing was like pretty solidly yu yu for a long time absol also got a lot better with close combat this thing with slush rush too golurk with poltergeist him on top with triple axle technician and magneton magneton is like what like this thing is so nice uh okay i don't know and now we've got even crazier drops here we got nu to pu so Obama Snow, Hagron, Archaeops, Aromatis, uh, Articuno, Aurorus, and Braviary. Okay, Braviary is a pretty crazy one to drop to PU. Uh, Centiscorch, also pretty crazy. Uh, Charizard, also crazy. Were they talking about this thing in NU or RU about how good this thing is? Um, Clawitzer, Claydol, Colossal. Cramorant, Dredagon, Duraludon, Eldegoss. Wow. Electivire, Alolan Exeggutor, Exploud, Gallade, Gigalith, Golbat, Girder, Heliolisk, Hitmonlee, Indeedy, Jellicent, Kabutops, King, Kingdra's in PU, man. Lantern, Machamp is in PU. Malamar, Omastar, Palisan, Passimian, Piloswine, Alolan Raichu, Regigigas, oh no, <laughs> I couldn't save him, I couldn't save him, Regirock, Ribambi, Roserade is down here, damn, Rotom, Alolan Sandslash, Sceptile, Scrafty, Shiftry, Sigilyph, and then is that, I think that's Silvali Fairy, Silvali Ghost, and Silvali Steel, I want to say, Surfetched is down in PU, that's absolute, how are people not using that in NU, Sneasel, Talonflame is PU? Bro. How? How can something fall from grace so hard after being literally like top tier in X and Y and ORAS? That's crazy. Uh, Tauros. Uh, I almost said Grookey. Uh, Thwacky. Toxicroak. Serena, Uxie, Vanillux, Vaporeon, Vicavolt, Vileplume, Verizion, Weezing, Whimsicott, Zatu. Crazy. And then there's a few drops here from PU to ZU. BL is Combuskin. And then from PU to ZU, Grey Dilly, uh, Driftblim, Lorantis, Regice, Sableye, Spiritomb, and Alolan. Uh, no, Alolan. <laughs> uh, Galarian, Stunfisk. Huh. So that's pretty interesting. PU is going to be a crazy tier, but uh, so like so, NU and PU are still very crazy tiers. I'm sure uh, that NU is going to come out with some bans pretty soon. Maybe PU will do some quick bans as well. I could obviously see a few things getting banned. 
like first things that come to mind Machamp, Kingdra, Indeedee, Roserade, maybe Surfetched. I could see Talonflame, definitely Verizion. Yeah, those sound like crazy things. Very, very interesting. Maybe even Duraludon, Braviary. I don't know. Sent to Scorch, <laughs> Charizard. Yeah. Uh, I assume they don't have weather in this tier, but I don't think. I don't think. Is Nine Tails down here? Nine Tails might be down here. That'd be pretty crazy if they if if weather is allowed and they could do like Nine Tails Charizard core. And when I say weather, I mean I specifically mean the sun and rain. I mean if rain is allowed and you can do Kingdra in this tier, that's that's pretty nuts. Like obviously you can use Sandstream Gigalith. I don't think anything would be too crazy with that down here. But Gigalith itself might be pretty powerful. Uh, wow. Okay, so let's look at the OU usage stats. Okay, Landorus staying on top once again. Uh, everyone had their doubts early on, but he's back. Um, Clefable still at number two. Rashifu at number three. Magirna number four. Toxpex number five. Pheromosa going down, apparently, at number six. Uh, we'll see. I, I think in the next week or so, we'll probably hear about well, if this thing's going to get banned or not. Uh, Ferrothorn at number seven. Cinderace at number eight. Garchomp at number nine. And Rillaboom number ten. Rillaboom still number ten. Grassy terrain is pretty, pretty cool. Uh, so, if Pheromosa does get banned, I guess the things that would probably be on the on the top of the block after Pheromosa are probably Urshifu, Magirna, and Cinderace, maybe. Although Urshifu has, you know, stayed uh, OU throughout the Isle of Armor, so maybe not. But I do think Magirna and Cinderace they were banned before. So I think they probably would be one of the top considerations for that. Um, but we'll see. You know, it's been a while, a little while since I've actually played OU, so whatever. Uh, okay, Zapdos at number 11, solid. Heatran number 12. Spectrier at number 13. This thing's been staying pretty good. Uh, I think it's dropping a little bit, because I think it has been in the top 10 before. Uh, but... It's definitely, it seems to be just, uh, a, it does what Regieleki does, but better. It has a much more spammable offensive type. Uh, and it's, it doesn't, it has a lot stronger special attack, I guess. Uh, but it does have a lot more cool options, like the sub will o -Wisp Hex is a pretty cool set with this. Uh, you can run Taunt on it as well. It even has Haze, so I think it does have a few more interesting options compared to its other, you know, strong special attacking monotype Pokemon. Uh, Tapu Fini, number 14. Mandibuzz at 15. Ooh. Galarian Slowking at number 16, outdoing regular Slowbro by one slot. That's pretty cool. This thing is pretty interesting. Tapu Kogo at 18. Excadrill at 19. Moltres at number 20. Wow. It's so cool to see Moltres actually staying owe you comfortably in this generation it's pretty cool uh i guess you know if Ferramosa or shifu cinderace if those things end up getting you know banned maybe multras will drop off but mel metal is also a thing and it's at number 22 right after swampert at 21 talk about swampert another cool one that's staying OU, as well as nido king here at number 23 pelipper 24 blissey 25 gross uh, Hydreigon 26, Corviknight 27, Kartana 28, wow, I can't believe Kartana is this low. Uh, Tyranitar number 29, and Tornadus Therian at number 30, that's pretty crazy. Wow. So, Corviknight and Dragapult, Pokemon that have really fallen from the top tiers before, <laughs> before the Isle of Armor and all that. Um, what was the other one? There was, why was there a third one? A third like a sword and shield pokemon that was you know at the top of the of the metagame for a while i cannot remember it i don't know um 
And the Dragonite number 32. Dragonite somehow still hanging on to OU usage. I don't really know how. <laughs> like, I've used this thing a few times and it. I don't think it's. Like, Dual Wing Beat definitely is a little bit of an improvement in that it has an actual usable flying type stab move. But I don't think it's that great on it. And. I don't know. Maybe it's alright. Maybe there's other set, maybe just the standard previous generation Dragonite sets are doing okay this generation. Uh, Hippo out on it, 20, 33. <laughs> Buzzworld, 34. Barrascuta, 35. Halucha, 36. Tapu Lele, 37. Volcarona, 38. Latios, 39. And Urshifu, single strike at 40. Okay, so looking at Volcarona and Halucha just moved up from the ban list into OU. Latios and Urshifu rapid strike could definitely drop i guess uh i don't have the stats the actual numbers but let's take a look let's see where they are 4.8 for rapid strike and 4.8 well they're both 4.8 i guess for latios and the rapid striker uh which means they're only 0.3 percent above the cutoff basically like 3.35 0.36 and reggie lucky a point a 4.438 which means it was point like like a like a, a tenth of a percent from the cutoff which is pretty crazy uh cool let's look at lower tier usage stats because i like looking at that did they have that somewhere? Oh, maybe not yet or something. Maybe I got to it too early. Oh well, we can just look at the raw data. Okay, Blaziken at number one in UU. That's pretty cool. Uh, Zero Aura, Kamoa, Celesteela, Azumarill, Salamence, Latias, Scizor, Victini, and Nido Queen. Wow, Nido Queen really came up. I guess losing Nido King really left a spot open for her. Very interesting. Galarian Zapdos, only a number 16. Interesting. Uh, are you Zarude at number one? That's pretty cool. Sloking number two, and that thing is now Yu So that's going to be a pretty big mix-up for the tier. Togekiss, Metagross, Crobat, Suicune, Zerkitry, Registeel, Darmanitan, and Zygarde 10%. Okay. Pretty cool. How are people not using Diggersby more? Diggersby number 15, that thing's powerful. Um, and you. Mian Xiao at number one, hell yeah. Sylveon, Bronzon, Rhyperior. That Rhyperior has now moved up as well. Uh, Noivern, Slowbro Galar. Oh, okay. Arcanine, Flygon, Toxtricity. Toxtricity only at number nine. Starmie, Oregon, Z Copperot. Wow, this is a crazy tier. Sharpedo, only at number 18. That thing's busted. If you haven't watched my video, do that. <laughs> uh, and PU. Jolteon at number 1. Sandaconda at 16. Togodomaru. Chinchino. Polyrath. Hitmonchan. Rotom Fan. Quillfish. Terminator. Drampa. Cryogonal. Okay. This is pretty interesting considering the Pokemon that just dropped into this tier. Like. It's gonna mix everything up. Uh, although I could see some Pokemon still staying on the top. Like I don't see a any real better like Jolteon thing. Like Jolteon's number one, and I'm trying to see if there's any like electric type that would be able to take his place. Basically, um, maybe yeah, I guess yeah, a little Raichu. I didn't see that one. Heliolisk, uh, Electivire. <laughs> no. These two, Heliolisk and Alolan Raichu, could definitely take that spot. Unfortunately for Jolteon. But yeah, that's I guess that's it. Uh, pretty crazy stuff. Regieleki dropping to UU. And a ton of stuff dropping to PU. So yeah, uh, I guess I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Keep dreaming. Oh, goodbye.